What is the difference between vegetarianism and veganism? A common question that many people have is, what is the difference between veganism and vegetarianism? A lot of people may get confused and think that they are the same thing, when in fact they are vastly different. To begin with, there are several different categories for vegetarians. Lacto-ovo vegetarians include lactose and eggs in their diets. However, they will not include meat products or poultry into their diets. Lacto-vegetarians will not include eggs in their diets, but they do consume dairy. They also prefer not to eat other animal products. Then we get to vegans, who will not eat any egg or dairy products, or products that have utilized animals in any way whatsoever. There are many people out there who call themselves vegetarians, even though they will occasionally eat meat here and there. Some may not consider eating seafood to be a meat, so if you are going vegan, you may find that you get the question, do you eat fish, a lot. Just do your best to be polite when discussing your diet choices. Many people are unfamiliar with the vegan lifestyle, and the more compassion you show to them for being curious, the more likely you will be to receive compassion in return. Isn't that what going vegan is all about? A lot of people don't know the difference between vegans and vegetarians, so rather than asking if a food is vegan, which may cause people to answer in the mindset of, no, there isn't any chunks of meat in this, versus, no, there are no animals or animal byproducts present in this dish. That can cause some strife, not just for the vegan, but for the person who is attempting to be hospitable. Sometimes it's just easier to say that while you appreciate the good intentions, you're going to be providing your own foods at certain social gatherings or events. That way, there's no mistaking what it is that you are putting into your body. A person who thinks a vegan diet and a lacto-ovo vegetarian diet are the same thing can easily violate a vegan's boundaries by feeding them things that may have cheese or dairy in it because they misunderstand the meanings of the words or they simply haven't looked into it well enough. What is a lacto-ovo vegetarian, you may ask? A lacto-ovo vegetarian is someone who does not eat meat, but who does eat animal byproducts such as cheese and eggs. They have not cut out dairy from their diets the way a vegan would. It's an easy mistake to make, especially for those who are uninformed. There are other types of vegetarians as well. Some are called ovo-vegetarians, and they eat only eggs and non-meat products. Lacto-vegetarians don't eat meat or any eggs or egg products. And then, of course, there's the flexitarian, who eats a mostly vegetarian diet, but every so often will include meat in their diet. Another thing a lot of people consider vegetarianism is pescatarian, which means a vegetarian diet except for eating fish. This is probably why a lot of people think that being vegan or vegetarian can mean that you still include fish in your diet. So, this may be a question you get a lot once you have adopted a vegan lifestyle. There is no shame in any way you choose to live your life or the diet that works best for you and your body's specific needs. It is important not to shame others for the way they live their lives, especially if you want to begin to create a more tolerant world that is accepting of the ideologies veganism often stands for. By being receptive, we create a more receptive world that is more likely to listen to our point of view in a way that doesn't feel threatening to them, so they may choose one day to try it for themselves and see how it feels. Even just a single meatless Monday can be a huge step in helping to eliminate needless suffering in animals. That isn't to say that you have to associate with people who make you feel ashamed to live the way you choose to live and for the way you eat. Treat others as you wish to be treated. And just as no vegan wants to be in the position of the suffering animals, neither do they want to be in a toxic atmosphere where people are making them feel ashamed for the choices they make. If you find that you are in a toxic environment, then you would do well to find a way out as quickly as possible so you may begin to live your life in a healthier way. Once you have decided what label best fits you in terms of your diet, it will be easier for you to explain what your diet is like to those who matter the most to you. Once they understand your specific limitations, then there is a high chance they will do everything in their power to accommodate you, which can be a great thing. Now that we have cleared up the difference between vegetarianism and veganism, let's move on to applying it to our lives.